While working with Objective-6 drug dosage problems, these problems introduce a step of converting IV flow rates between free-flowing an IV by gravity or infusing an IV by IV controller or pump. Because they involve two different flow methods and two different flow times, there is an easy way to use these conversions. In this first problem, a patient has an IV infusing by gravity at 25 drops per minute with an administration set that delivers 20 drops per milliliter. To convert this IV to a pump, what will the milliliter per hour flow rate need to be? The pieces added to the toolbox are the 25 drop per minute flow rate, the 20 drop per ml tubing, and the question of how many milliliters per hour will this flow? Because converting from drops a minute to milliliters per hour involves multiplication and the magic number based on the tubing is 3, we would take the drop per minute flow rate of 25 and multiply this by the magic number of 3 resulting in 75. The label is milliliters per hour because this is what our conversion needed to be. A quick glance that we have satisfied our answer of milliliters per hour helps us be sure that we haven't made a mistake in answering this question. With this next question, an IV pump is infusing at 120 milliliters per hour with an administration set of 15 drops per milliliter. To convert to gravity, what is the drop per minute flow rate needed? The toolbox shows 120 milliliters per hour as the flow rate, tubing of 15 drop per milliliter, and a question of converting to gravity is what is the drop per minute flow rate? To complete this question, we know when converting from milliliters an hour to drops a minute, that division is what is used, our magic number, based on 15 drops and 15 going into 64 times is 4. Our setup is 120 milliliters per hour divided by a magic number of 4 equals 30 drops per minute. A quick glance to verify this is what our question was asking confirms we have the proper answer. Question number three, a child is receiving fluids by gravity at 18 drops per minute with a pediatric administration set. When converted to pump, what is the milliliter per hour rate needed? Though the steps for completion of this problem are quite simple, in most cases, unless you're just doing this to verify you've done the proper steps, it isn't necessary to show all of this work because when you multiply or divide any number by one, it's still that number. Just be sure that you verify what your question was asking and that you have changed your label to complete your problem. The completion steps would be 18 drops per minute multiplied by a magic number of 1 equaling 18 milliliters per hour. The final problem, number 4, a patient with an IV of 40 milligrams of drug mixed in 1,000 milliliters of D5LR infusing at 100 milliliters per hour by IV controller when the pump malfunctions, what will the drop per minute flow rate be if 15 drop per milliliter tubing is being used? The toolbox in this case shows 40 milligrams in 1,000 milliliters, 100 milliliter an hour as the flow rate, tubing of 15 drops per milliliter, and a question of what is the drop per minute flow rate? Remember, when it comes to the toolbox, all information from the problem that has a number related is included so that we have everything we will need for completion. Because this question is asking for drops per minute, this will be a clue that the only way this problem could be completed is by beginning with a milliliter an hour flow rate to make this conversion. Knowing that, using the 100 milliliter per hour 
flow rate and dividing this by the magic number of 4 based on our 15 drop tubing results in 25 drops per minute as the new flow rate by gravity.